Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to iCollect and in this channel we feature all kinds of collectors of anything under the sun as long as the collections are unique, interesting, rarely seen and have a story to tell, we will bring their collections to you. And today we are home of one such collector who started his collecting journey some 40 years ago of this particular toy. And what toy are we talking about? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Go Zanson and I collect Playmobil. The first reason is that Playmobil is always expanding in his teams so that they always come up with new sets that I can always collect over the years to build my own country of Playmobil figures. And if you were to look at uh, any standard regular toy, for example a tiger, right, it's, it's very fixed. Whereas for Playmobil, you can see that you can make movements to it and even for example this tiger's uh, mouth can even bite a fish, right? And in addition to that, if you look at a standard toy, for example, if I were to buy an elephant from the same sets, you can imagine they are not to scale. Whereas for Playmobil, the elephant is to scale with respect to the size of the tiger. Likewise, if I take a smaller animal, this is actually the standard uh, cat, which is too big, but the Playmobil cat is just to scale. Originally, I wanted to target to collect all vehicles uh, produced by Playmobil but I realised that I was when I was doing that you know I couldn't really afford the space and the money to collect all the vehicles because they were really too, far too many so after a while I decided to change my focus that I wanted to collect all animals so I finally was so thankful that I managed to collect all, almost all you know uh, Playmobil's uh, animals uh, for example this is one of them the dinosaur park Yes, for example, when I first bought the ice cream seller way back in 1982, it didn't come with the ice cream as you see it. So I had to wait for a good 32 years before finally it appeared in another set, the drink store set, so that I can then use the ice cream to let them hold on it now. Another example was my earlier vision in wanting to collect the entire airport. So this was my first plane which I bought in 1989, a two-seater plane. But I realised that this wasn't enough to feature an airport so I had to wait very patiently for a good 12 years before I could buy this 7-seater plane in the year 2001 Then, imagine, I had to wait for another 6 years before buying this uh, big passenger plane and another good few, year, few more years before I can buy this cargo plane So all in all, you can see that in order to feature this entire airport, the oldest plane and the, uh, the newest planes can be as far as 32 years apart. Uh, this NTUC Fair Price uh, grocery set is the collection that I take greatest pride in. So when my friends saw this, they thought I could just buy off the shelf the whole series. No, I actually had to take lots of pains over the years to get this here collected. First, I bought uh, this from KL many years ago. It was only half the size. So I had to go online to buy some other floors and windows to make it bigger so that it can contain the different sections. And if you realise this um, cashier here with the conveyor belt, it's, it's actually not part of it. So I had to auction this from eBay from a French seller. And to get this um, trolley to resemble NTUC is so important, but I also got it from another florist series. And last but not least, if you notice the butcher section here, it wasn't part of it but I thought it was important so I waited for many years so when Playmobil came out with the butcher series as part of other bigger teams that I had to uh, buy it and then put it here so that it will form my mega NTUC Fair Price Supermarket. We've come to the end of today's episode and we hope you enjoy watching this episode as much as we enjoy bringing Mr. Gold's collection to you. If you like this episode, do give us a like and we welcome comments. If you are a collector yourself and you want us to feature your collection, get in touch with us via the email address listed below. So once again, thanks for watching and to the next episode of iCollect, this is Thomas signing out.